வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இந் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் ரிப்போர்ட்ஸ் ரெக்வேர்ட் ஃபார் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் அண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் ஸோ பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் ப்ரீஃப்லி ரிவ்யூ வாட் வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் வி டிஸ்கஸ் த பேசிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் டைப்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் எஸ்ஐபி மாஸ்டர் டேட்டா ரெக்வேர்ட் ஃபார் எஸ்ஐபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் அண்ட் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் we talked about demand how to plan what are the various mrp logic how to evaluate them how to handle exception messages and then we talked about how to create release and print the production orders how to do the goods issue then how to do the confirmation how to do the goods receipts and then we discussed what are the post production order activities which have to be done so that we ensure proper closure of the production after completing all the production details we should be able to see some reports so let us see some of the standard reports which are available in sip so the first report is covis the menu path is shown here this is very important report for the production users this is having multiple information about the production execution and also if you want to see some details related to production information also we can see here sorry production planning So when I click on this COIS information and go into the transaction, we will see various options to enter here. It starts with the list, what is displayed here. In the list, you can see what do you want to see as the output from the report. Here itself, we can see various options. For example, order headers. What are the items? What are the capacities? What are the components? What are the operations? What is the production list? Purchase requests with respect to production orders. so related to production orders what do we want to see all these options are there which option is required we select it for our discussion purpose we select order header order headers execute the transaction so here we see multiple options to enter the parameters selection parameters like uh, the plant level what is the production order numbers and then production plant planning plant order type mrp controller like this order header level there are details operation levels also there are many parameters one of the selection parameter here is system status so whenever so whenever you are selecting system status it is suggested to use the status from the drop down menu that is using f4 don't enter them manually sometimes it may lead to like wrong it, it may not process because system may not accept it directly it better to take from the drop menu okay now we selected the parameters and then executed now we are coming into the report see the report this is showing the order header order header is showing what is the order number what is the material what we are producing what is the order type who is the mrp controller and what is the start date this is a basic start date basic finish date then schedule start date schedule finish date will be there separately there will be actual start date actual finish date like this will be there and then we are seeing system status like this what is the target quantity which plant it is getting produced all the details are there so now in this bar what is highlighted here we can see that the layout of this report can be changed as we need there is option to go and change the layout and also the report can be exported to excel if you want to do any further analysis also if you want to do any summation any column now we have to do some summation that can be done and also there are many other options please explore them so this is very very important report for each production user should explore this report to the maximum extent if you practice this report you may not ask for any additional reports from production department and then in covis itself we want to see what are the documented movements goods movements what are all the movements which are happened with respect to production order so here for this purpose you select the list the documented goods movements now we see for each order for each material what was the metal document i see we can see here what is the order number material number metal document number what is the item number what is the movement type all the details we can see here the column goods movement is showing whether it is a planned goods issue or unplanned goods issue is it a goods received from production order all these details we can see so next we want to see some details related to components so in the list select components execute the transaction we see the component wise reports for example here we can see the first component cp1001 is used in many production orders which production order it is used how much it was required how much was opened how much was committed 
in which work center is getting used and uh, what is the description of the material like this we have many options so all these things we can if you want to change the layout as per your requirement you can change it all these things you can do by yourself right so cos you know we i just showed you some examples only you can explore the, from the cos itself we can get hundreds of reports what is required for your requirement you can take it now we will go to the some inventory related reports because we want to see the inventory right the basic inf information about the inventory starts with the stock overview this is called mmbe mmbe is the stock overview report and the mmbe transaction when you execute it you will see the option like to enter the material plant storage location batch like this you can enter and then execute it before that you can also see there are many other options like mb53 mb52 mb5m there are many options are there we need to practice them now after executing the mmb transaction with the selected parameter the output is shown here here it is showing what is the stock level uh, first it is showing at the total company level total stock then it is showing company level then it is showing plant level then it is showing store location level now see it is giving all the breakup here you can see all the data and also you can see various columns like what is unrestricted use stock what is the quality inspection stock what is the stock which was reserved for some other order purpose like this you can see and when you go to the uh, menu you no know, top uh, menu right the tool menu bar we can see in the environment tab various options like a stock requirement list open purchase orders reservations metal movements for this specific material you want to see some details from here itself you can go to environment and uh, select it go to the particular transaction you don't need to open separate transaction from here here itself you can so you can go next report is barrow stock uh, reports for the total stock in the plant that is called mb52 here also we can have many options to enter the details for example you have materials plant storage location and then your material type metal group and then what kind of uh, settings we want to have whether we want to display negative stocks only or we want to have no zero stocks or we don't need to have zero stocks or we want to enter the special stocks like a stock provided to vendor stock uh, special stock for customers many options are there so what is the required options you select it process the transaction so now we are selecting the stock report here see here again we are seeing what is the material in which you plant which is store location and what is the unit of measure how much is in unrestricted stock what is the value in unrestricted stock and then what is the stock in transfer what is the like this many columns will be there you can see here the sum also there right what we saw in the cois like that we have many options here like to export or to change the layout to put the details in ascending order descending order for each column like these various options are there we need to explore them. next i want to see the stocks based on some date from this date to this date how much my stock was varying that is also an option is there that is called the report mb5b in mb5b we have options to enter the material company code plant like that and also what is the date from which date to which date you want to see the stock details and also you can see what is the uh, stock type whether it is store location stock or uh, value added stock or special stock and how the total should be shown in the report all these you can select after selecting all the parameters execute the report you are seeing the details here see what is the opening stock the selected date now from date to date open an opening date what was the stock what was the total receipt what are the total issues what is the closing stock the report we are getting it so like this we, this mb5b is giving a consolidated view and when you change the hierarchy in the selection parameter this will be shown in the different format also that option is also there next important thing is mb51 mb51 is the one we discussed right that when you are doing the production order confirmation we have to issue the goods and also we have to do the goods receipts right 261 not on moments hope you remember it so like this there may be various moments like a metal when it was received when it was issued when the production was done for these things if you want to see the details we can use the uh, uh, the transaction mb51 now you select mb51 apart from this you see there are other uh, documents also there like a mr51 for accounting mbal for rqd materials like this we have made uh, details and also if it have cancelled any metal documents that also we can see here now let us select mb51 and we have again multiple selection parameters here plant location batch vendor what is the posting date what is the user name 
like these many options are there. MB51 also is going to give lot of information about the movements which are happening inside the plant. Now we selected the material, then the plant, and then dates, executed the transaction. Here we can see the details. For example, the each material wise, in which plant, in which location, what are the posting date, what is the quantity which has been entered. Like green means there was some receipt happening, red means sort of consumption or issue is happening. And we want to bring the movement type. Movement type also there, 261, 101, movement types also there. And many other details you can bring here. Here also we can see that that uh, menu, right? The ribbon menu is there. There you can have you have multiple options like any selected column, in ascending, descending, summation, uh, transport to sorry, export to Excel, any options are there. So in this session we discuss some reports which are required for production, like production information system, COIS, stock overview, MMBE, warehouse stock details, MB52, stock by posting date, MB5B, metal document, MB51. These are very basic documents only, basic reports. But if you use the proper selection parameters and if you run them and save the layouts what is required for you, there itself we can give multiple, multiple information which are required to take some decision on day-to-day -day activities. You don't need to go for any customization, uh, customized reports if you are using these reports properly. So in this session, we discussed some reports which are required for the production planning execution. The next session, we will discuss about a, a topic which was asked by many people like uh, how to do the capacity planning and leveling. That will be discussed in the next session. Please give your feedback to improve our flow and content. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye.